Please, we're dealing with serious matters here. The Guardians are in desperate need of our aid, and any interruption can have dire consequences. Oh, my apologies. You must be the stranger who helped my sisters at Delin's Mill. I'm honored to meet you. I can't talk long. As you know, things are not well in our woods. The Guardians have gone silent, and this corruption spreads. They're elemental spirits. They used to guide us, but now... nothing. And just when we need them the most... There's an old rite to contact them that might work, but it's too dangerous for me or my sisters to perform. I don't know. You're not one of us. But we have to try something, I suppose. See the lurchers out there. Gather their limbs. That's the dangerous part. Then burn the limbs at the altar atop the nearby ruins. If it works, a guardian should appear. If you're able to speak to the elemental spirit, find me at the Vale of the Guardians. It's north of this location. I'll wait for you there. And please hurry. We need the wisdom and guidance of the Guardians now more than ever. If you must know, the Guardians are the Elnafe. They've been a part of the land since the dawn of Tamriel. The Guardians have been with us since we first found the Weird Tree. They protect the land and guide us in our duties. They are abominations of the Bloodthorns. The Lurchers were Spriggans once, until the cultists twisted and corrupted them. That's what the Bloodthorns do. We must stop them. Hail. Greetings, child. We have been waiting for someone to summon us. Hangoff the Gravesinger has imprisoned us, and we are cut off from the weird. You must set the Guardians free. Have mortals so soon forgotten the old ways? Surely the Weirises remember the Standing Stones. First, the stones must be cleansed of Angoth's dark influence. Protect the weird while they destroy the corruption binding the stones. No, but cleansing the stones should loosen Angoff's grip. Tell Weary Selina about the corruption. She will know what must be done. Our time grows short, mortal. Free us before Angoff's corruption takes hold. We are the echoes of old voices, remnants of a time long ago. Still, a few of us remain. We were the Ifre. Then we became the Elnafe, the Earth Bones. We nurture the land and guide the weird. They call us Guardians. They are a pestilence. They serve the corruption that binds us, the one called Angoff the Grave Singer. The cult spreads his decay, planting his blighted seeds to pollute the natural world. They prepare a path for Angoff's true master, Mola Baal. He is a tremor in the land, a poison in the water. He is a whisper, a shadow, a chill wind. He is grave singer and reach mage, necromancer and corrupter. Death and decay are his domains. Angoff binds us and seeks to make us part of him. Far from here, where the earth and sky grow cold, lies the chill of the Reach. Daedra worshippers live there, mocking the Aedra, the Elnafe. They call themselves Reachmen, and their mages pollute the land with dark magic. Gravesingers are necromancers that seek power over life and death. They seek to control the realms we would nurture and protect. They call upon the Daedra, who hide in darkness, to aid them in their efforts. I heard a whisper echo through the forest. Was it the Guardians? Did they talk to you? 
Im imprisoned? Our enemy is that powerful. We will do whatever we can to help. The Guardians must be set free. What must we do? Without the aid of the Guardians, we can't regain control of our weird tree. Four of my sisters have gone north to cleanse the stones, but they need protection. Corrupted creatures attack them before they can destroy the foul vines that choke the stones. You must go and help them. Of course! The standing stones I should have realized! Take my amulet and protect the weird. When they're done, weaken a lurcher and use the amulet to control it. Bring the controlled lurcher to the standing stones on the hill. We'll do the rest. Meet us at the ritual site, and don't forget the lurcher. I never thought that much of the weird, but the way they've taken us in shows that they have good hearts. I never thought of living in a tree, but I could get used to this. I'm glad to be back at camp rather than at the mill. This camp may not be what the survivors from the mill are used to. But it will have to do. See these vines? Corruption runs through them and they choke the sacred stone. Soon, they will tap into the stone's magic and defile it completely. If you will help me, I can destroy these foul vines. Your confidence is inspiring. Thanks for that. Now prepare yourself. The Vine's protectors will be on us as soon as I cast my spell. Stay alert! I'm not done yet. We've destroyed it! Give me a minute, and I'll meet you at the ritual site. I loathe these vines. They reek of death and corruption. But every time I try to deal with them, I'm attacked by cultists or corrupted creatures. I wish I had your confidence. I mean, I know what to do. And now you're here, right? Oh, what am I so worried about? Consider those damn vines destroyed! I need more time! Catch my breath and I'll head to the ritual site. Corruption radiates from this thing. I can feel it worming into my soul. The corruption spreads outward, altering or killing all the forest creatures. We have to destroy it. Then keep me safe while I destroy this damn thing. Almost finished. Keep them off a little longer. It's destroyed. I'll meet you at the ritual site once I've rested for a minute. Weera Selina told me you would come. I hope this works. Please don't let anything happen to me while I destroy these vines. You know, when you say it like that, I almost believe it. Let's do this thing. Faster. I need to go faster. Be ready for another attack. Gone. 
I need a minute to catch my breath, and then I'll meet you at the ritual site. By my blood, the corruption is washed away. The sacrifice has made this holy place pure again. We can begin the ritual whenever you are ready. That poor Spriggan spirit is finally free. It is a lurcher no more. Through its blood we have cleansed this site. Everything is ready. I agree. They've been imprisoned for much too long. Beldama, sisters, focus your power on the stranger. It's time to break Angoff's hold on the Guardians. At last, the chains of corruption fall away. We are free of Angoff's hold. Angoff will pay for this insult. Speak, champion of the Guardians. We are in your debt. We are free. This is how it should be. We are Earth's bones. We endure. We knew someone would come to set us free. We just didn't know when it would happen, or who it would be. It seems right that you were the one. You are mortal, but also not mortal. Engoff has much to fear from you. Angoth's evil flows deeper than the wellspring of this land. This must end quickly. There is more work for you, champion.